I'm Dr. Tony Tucker, Director of Schools at South Carroll Special School District in Clarksburg, Tennessee. And he Helios came in to do our project. And um, this room we're standing in was probably the most problem area that we had. It was very dark. The uh, type of lighting that was put in here when the building was built was not appropriate to light it up like it should be. So uh, we've ended up with a, a very bright and welcoming foyer here for the, when the community comes in and the, and the parents and the students. So they've made a lot of comment about how much more welcoming it is. And also, of course, we're saving energy. When the board, when we were talking about that to the board, uh, they said, all right, the lighting project, yes, we want energy savings. Uh, we like the idea of uh, maintenance savings, but this has to be right. Yeah, when we took our initial foot candle readings, we were uh, in the neighborhood of six, definitely in the single digits. Uh, right now, we're getting over 50. In a, in a hallway like this, you'd want anywhere from 30 to 50 foot candles. Um, in this particular area, there's dark windows and they want to be able to see into this space from the office spaces. So we needed to maximize the light output of the fixtures in this space uh, so that they could see through the windows. This is uh, the hallways here that we were looking at. It looks really nice. Everything doesn't really look like uh, it's been added onto. It's been updated. Uh, the overall foot candles have been increased in here, so we have more visibility. Um, you have a nicer light uh, for the students. It doesn't actually mess with their uh, sleep patterns, uh, headaches, uh, things like that. This is a better, more even light uh, to have in hallways. And, and they're practically maintenance free. They don't have light degradation from uh, debris and insects getting above the lens in between the actual lamps themselves. This light output that we're experiencing right now should stay consistent through the, through the life of the fixtures. And again, we have so much more light in these halls, it's cleaner. And that's due partly to the type of light they put out. One of my janitors have made a comment that, uh, that it makes cleaning a lot easier. And the, the kids like it better. I mean, they've made comment, the parents have made comment about uh, how much brighter, how much, how much fresher everything looks than it did. And these fixtures are rated at over uh, 50,000 hours. So uh, with the amount of time the lights are on, while the school's open for business, so to speak, uh, you'll exceed 10 years on these lights. So man, this is our high school science room and lab. Again, it's much brighter than it was. Uh, the kids, again, the ones that have the migraine headaches, don't seem to be experiencing as much problems. Uh, my science teacher has made comment about how much better it is in here because they're doing projects, doing experiments. You know, the lighting is truer. Uh, when they're trying to look at things, and so they're better, uh, better served. I actually had one of the teachers come up to me. Um, it's probably the last week we we're here as we we're wrapping it up. And she uh, she comes up and she says, "Hey, I I can read again." I said, well, "What do you mean?" She said, "I didn't realize it at the time, but I was having trouble reading small text in the books. So so much so that I'd have to give it to one of the students to read it for me." And uh, she realized that it was the light. And as you can see, the light output is. It's clean, it's consistent, and it doesn't flicker or hum. Welcome to the cafeteria. Uh, in here, we did the same uh, type of solution. We have the LED flat panels. It increased the overall brightness in here. Uh, also, in the prep area, it really did increase a lot of the brightness in there, which increases overall safety when you're talking about food handling. Our cafeteria is like all other cafeterias. Your average age of your uh, cafeteria worker, let's say, is not young. You know, they're all in their 60s mostly, so it's helped them to be able to see better. They're all uh, happy with, uh, with the change, and uh, if they're happy, that makes all of us happy. That's a <laughs> all right, we're out in the, uh, the new gym uh, this time. We opted for an LED flat panel in this space. Um, outside, we did all new wall packs, um, and in the entryway, we used the Cree IG canopy fixture. Uh, it's a low glare, uh, high lumen output fixture that provides motion detection. So when uh, there's nobody around, the lights will idle down to about 10%. And then about an hour after no movement down at 10%, they'll completely shut off. And as soon as uh, someone walks in front of the space or near the space, those lights will ramp back up to 100% lumen output. Um, in the gym, we used an LED high bay, which increased the, uh, the light output significantly. As far as the school board and, and, my, and myself, we couldn't be more pleased. They feel good that we're going to get energy savings as well as a, a new look at our, our overall building. 
So it, uh, the community and the school, the school board couldn't be more happy. We thank you, Dr. Tucker, and we thank uh, Clarksburg School and the community for allowing us to be able to do this project here.